proposing new penalties, but no oversight and no enforcement. Just ask the workers on the ground in the oil sands. 65 iron workers on the Imperial Oil Curl site unceremoniously laid off and ordered to leave, including First Nation workers. They were replaced by less skilled temporary foreign workers. Only after the union intervened were only a third of the Canadians rehired for less skilled work. Stiffer penalties won't work without proper oversight. Will the government now pull permits for violating companies? As usual on this uh, matter, the, the NDP is li living in fantasy land. The yep. reality is that there according to the president of the Iron Workers Union, uh, every single one of those individuals got immediately employed in the energy sector in northern Alberta. Now, Mr. Speaker, let's be clear. Let's be clear. We're going to throw the book with tough mandatory financial penalties at non-compliant employers who don't respect the rules of the temporary foreign worker program thanks to the powers in the Budget Implementation Act and we fully expect the NDP to vote for that act so we have the power to impose those fines. <laughs>